Hi, I'm Stephen Gilson from the Apogee Doc Team. To maintain performance and availability of your APIs, it's critical to limit request rates based on the capacity of your APIs and the capacity of your backend services. Apogee Edge provides three rate limiting policies that you can use in an API proxy, quota, spike arrest, and concurrent rate limit. In this video, I'll be talking about the quota policy. You use the quota policy in an API proxy to limit the number of requests that the proxy allows over a time interval, such as minute, hour, day, week, or month. For example, you can configure the quota policy to allow 100 requests per minute, 1,000 requests per hour, 10,000 requests per day, or whatever limit is applicable to your application. The quota policy maintains an internal counter that increments on every request. And when the quota counter reaches its limit, further requests to the API proxy are rejected. The quota policy resets the counter at the end of the time interval, for example, one hour. Or you can programmatically reset the quota counter by using the reset quota policy. So let's look at an API proxy that uses the quota policy. In this example, I have an API proxy to access the Yahoo Weather Service. And when I make a request to the API proxy, I'm going to get data back as XML. I can continue to make requests until I reach my quota limit. And when I do, you can see the error message returned by the quota policy. In this example, it says I had a rate limit quota violation and a, because my quota limit was exceeded. To add a quota policy to an existing API proxy, you simply add the plus button, select the quota policy from the list of available quotas, uh, a list of available policies. In this example, I'm going to accept the default name and click add. Then I'm going to select the quota policy to configure it. And in this example, I'm going to configure the quota policy to allow 100 requests per hour to my API proxy. And then I'm going to click Save. Now, the way that uh, quota policy works, again, is it maintains a counter. And that counter is going to reset at the end of every interval. And that interval is going to be based on how you configure the quota policy. In the default case, it's going to reset at the top of each hour for a time interval of one hour. You can specify a calendar type of, uh, of policy. And in that case, it's going, to request, it's going to reset the counter one hour after an explicit start time. You can specify a flexi type of quota policy, which means it's going to re reset the counter one hour after the first request. Or you can specify a rolling window type of policy where all requests are counted in the previous hour of time. Now remember in my example policy, I had a quota violation. Let's see if my quota limit has expired. And it has, so I can make a request again. In that particular uh, API proxy, I had configured the quota to reset every minute. The quota policy also has a number of flow variables that you can access within the API proxy. For example, you can access, access a flow variable to return the, the count limit for the, pol for the policy, the current counter value, and the UTC time code when the policy is going to next reset the counter. I can see these flow variables in the trace output of my API proxy. For example, for my API proxy that accesses the Yahoo Weather Service, I'm going to start a trace session. I'm going to make a request to my API proxy. And then I'm going to click on the quota policy in the trace window. If I scroll down, I can see there is the allowed count value for my quota policy, which is 2 the available count, which is how many uh, requests I have left before the quota policy expires, and the UTC time when that quota policy is going to next reset. Now, there are many ways to configure the quota policy that I haven't gotten into. For more information, you can see the Apogee documentation, or you can access the Apogee community forums.